What's going on guys? My name is Mitch Robs, and today we're going to be doing some Bloons Tower Defense 6. So I've been playing this game a lot recently and when I say recently I've been playing this game a couple weeks so I'm basically the best in the world. Just kidding I'm not actually good at this game but I have found consistent strategies in this game that work really super well um, and I'm going to show them off to you guys. So I played this on stream a couple weeks ago. Um, my main game is Fortnite Save the World and I do it endurance builds which are basically tower defense builds for 30 waves and the enemies get progressively harder um and this game's a lot like that except you're a little bit more proactive with the building and stuff um so if you are new to this channel fortnite save the world's my main game um i'm gonna be playing this a lot more though uh so come check me out on twitch and stuff like that links are gonna be in the description i don't feel like plugging because i'm lazy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over monkey meadows and we're gonna be using the hero gwendolyn so there's four starter heroes and you don't really have to pay for them and they're gonna be what a, well, Quincy right there. He's going to be the starter one. There's going to be Gwendolyn, Striker Jones, and Open Greenfoot. Um, she's going to actually provide a lot of buffing to our towers. So she'll um, have heated up, which every few seconds, uh, she'll see a little flame wave coming out from under. And it'll pop balloons, and it'll also add fire to other monkeys' attacks, which gives some lead popping power. But basically, heated up gets buffed later on. But she just gives a lot of extra popping power, um, and since we're not really focused on using hero abilities, because who wants to micro in this game, genuinely? Um, unless you're like playing the love way harder maps, genuinely, you might have to micro then. But for these early maps, why micro if you don't have to? So we're gonna we're gonna play heroes that buff our other heroes, right? Or have insane DPS. So we're gonna have Gwendolyn on this map. Um, she's really good. So we're gonna be playing Monkey Meadows Chimps. So here's Monkey Meadows. Um, it's the first map in the game, right? And the reason we play chimps is to get these things called black borders. If you don't leave the game at all during this, right? Because um, believe it or not, you can hit escape and uh, hit home and you can leave the game during a chimps game and always go back. Um, but if you do that, you won't get this black border once you've completed every single um, game mode on this. So chimps is the bottom path of the hard difficulty and it's the hardest game mode in the game. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna play it. All right. We're going to come right here and you're going to notice that chimps is a different game mode and uh, has no continues, hearts lost, income, monkey knowledge, or powers or selling. So basically, a lot of people use banana farms as a crutch and farm a lot and monkey knowledge. You don't know how much monkey knowledge really does for you until you've gotten max monkey knowledge and you go back. <laughs> so I, I try not to rely on it too much, but um, in chimps, there's no monkey knowledge, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so we're going to go with a pretty straightforward, no RNG uh, type of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a ninja start. Ninja's really good for early game popping power. It pops a lot of balloons quickly um, and pops like one layer at a time until you get like double shot. But he's really, really good. So we're going to take him and we're going to go as far left to the possible. And we're going to go as far bottom as possible. I kind of like to be per pixel perfect with these um, solely because... Um, I mean, it works better, and I have this all mapped out, so you might as well as too. It only takes a couple extra seconds. So we have him right in this bottom left-hand corner, and he's going to be able to see this little intersection uh, and this little intersection. He's going to cover a lot of this area. So basically till round eight, he's going to be able to be fine until we get his next ability. And he's going to be our starting tower and pretty much carry us through the Moab at round 40. So let's crack onto it. So round eight's the next time we're going to touch him right before it. So now that we're right after round seven, this is round eight, and uh, we actually have the money to buy Ninja Discipline. So this is going to increase our attack speed and our range, um, and it just honestly makes the Ninja Monkey ten times better. Well, I'm not going to say ten times better, but it'll straight up make uh, the Monkey just a lot better and way more consistent. So we're going to grab that, and then next round we'll grab the next upgrade. Alright, so let's grab a uh, Seeking Shuriken now. This is going to make it so the uh, Shuriken actually tracks the balloons. So let's uh, grab that and let's go through the round and round 11 we'll pick it back up. All 
All right, so right before round 11, we're gonna go ahead and grab sharp shurikens. This is gonna make it so it pierces. So pierce means it's gonna touch a balloon and then it can go through that balloon and pop another balloon, right? So it's gonna be able to pierce, uh, pierce four different balloons. Um, so it'll be able to hit four different balloons. Um, really big upgrade, especially with Seeking Shuriken, because you're going to get full usage out of it. All right, and a thing I other forgot to mention is a Ninja Monkey comes with automatic camo detection, which is going to be huge. So we're going to get this upgrade, and then we're going to wait till we can get Gwendolyn. So as soon as we get enough money, we'll come back and we'll buy Gwendolyn and place her. Now, right before round 15, we're going to be able to afford her. So what I like to do is I like to come right above the ninja. We're going to go over as far left as possible and then up as far as possible. So I like it pixel perfect, guys. You don't have to be this, what's the word for it, anal about it. But um, it actually matters because later on with our village placements, you might have your spike, spike factory not in the range of it if you don't do it pixel perfect. So we have Gwendolyn down right here. And um, she's going to be able to automatically pop lead balloons. Um, so we don't even have to really worry about that. Uh, for a long time. Uh, so we're going to grab her and we're not going to do anything till around 19. So round 19's here and we have enough money for double shot. Double shot's super good. Basically, instead of throwing one shuriken really fast, he throws two instead of one. So it just straight up doubles your popping power. So it's a dead giveaway to get this. So we're going to grab double shot, and then we're going to keep on going on until um, we get a 401 ninja and we get balloon jitsu. So coming up is round 24, and this trips a lot of people up, but this is where we're going to see our first camo balloon. So only one camo balloon, it's going to be a green balloon, will come out here. But if you don't have like a ninja monkey or um, you don't have camo detection, this actually can kill a lot of runs really early if you don't know what comes on the correct waves. So you kind of have to start picking that up as you play this game. But let's continue on, and I think round 20, at the end of round 27, we're going to upgrade our ninja. So round 28 is our first lead balloon. So lead can only be popped by like explosions and things of that nature. Um, and normally you would have to plan for something like a wizard with a fireball or a bomb shooter or something like a bottom path um, boomerang monkey. Stuff that can pop leads, you would, you would plan for it. But since we have Gwendolyn, she can automatically pop it. So we don't have to worry about that. So all of our money is going to be dumped into our ninja monkey. And by proxy, she actually buffs our ninja monkey where she can he can pop leads every couple seconds. So she'll have no trouble popping those leads. And our ninja monkey actually will be able to as well. So let's get this balloon jitsu. And that's going to take us up to five th shurikens thrown at once. That's insane. That's two and a half times more popping power. So we're five times uh, our two upgrades ago. So it's actually really, really insane balloon jitsu. So let's continue on to about round 32. So now that we have a little bit of money, let's go down here and we're going to find the Alchemist. The Alchemist is going to be one of the most important towers in this game, um, mainly because he doesn't actually really do very good damage by himself. He can, don't get me wrong, there's certain upgrade paths, but his main utility is to buff other towers. So we're going to come right next to the ninja, go down as far as possible and over left as far as possible close to the ninja, uh, because he's going to throw pun uh, potions on our ninja. And it's going to buff it. So right here, we're going to take our top upgrade path. We're going to go larger potions and assist acidic mystery dip. So larger potions just makes them have a bigger area, a splash radius. And acidic mixture, mixture dip is going to allow us to do more damage to Moabs uh, and ceramics, as well as it's going to allow us to pop uh, leads. That's really super huge because otherwise we're not able to pop leads. 
Um, and he also pops leads himself, so he's just a beast. Um, he makes every other tower good, and that's what makes him so good. So we're going to get an acidic mystery dip. And then the next round, we're going to get faster throwing. All right, so we're going to get faster throwing. He's just going to simply attack faster and throw potions faster. Simple enough. So around round 35 is when we're going to pick our next upgrade. All right, so now we have enough money for something called a Berserker Brew. So this Berserker Brew is crazy, and it gives the other monkeys, so our Ninja Monkey and Gwendolyn, it gives her, them extra range, extra damage, and extra attack speed. It literally just makes them basically smoke crack. Um, and they get really, really super, super human. So we're going to throw the Berserker Brew on that. And it's going to make our ninja money th uh, monkey throw faster, throw farther, and throw harder. So next uh, upgrade we're going to get is round 38. So now that round 37 is over, we're going to grab our stronger stimulant. This is even going to be more powerful and allow us to do more damage, more range, and attack speed um, when it buffs other towers. All right. All right, so on this round, we're going to do a little bit weird um, placement of a tower, but it'll make sense later. So right, we're going to take a attack shooter, and normally he's really good in like these nooks and crannies like this. Or like right here where he can hit a big range but we're actually going to place him right here next to Gwendolyn as close as possible to her and as up far as possible to her so let's go up as far as possible and then over so right there and we're going to get him to two zero three um this will be more apparent later on because of the strategy we're using but basically his range will cover all of this area right here um and he'll cover basically the entire middle of the map after buffs and he'll be our main DPS tower later on in the game. But we're just getting him set up and in position uh, because for the Moab, he'll just do a little bit extra damage. So um, let's go into round 39. So we're going to go into round 40. This is the first time you're going to see a Moab um, in Chimps. Moabs basically are really hefty balloons that pop out four ceramics. So... Um, we're going to go through that like a breeze because of our ninja monkey and our alchemist. So let's just destroy a Moab. Before round 42, let's go and pick up overdrive. And this is just going to make our tax sprayer shoot a lot faster. So the, the previous upgrades just make him shoot out more tax and uh, shoot faster. Simple enough. But this is going to make him shoot incredibly fast. So we're gonna apply that and then we're good till next, um, whatchamacallit, till next round. All right, so now we're gonna grab a village and we're gonna have two villages in this game because um, we're A, gonna get a MIB on this. If you don't know what that is, I'll explain it later. And we're also going to get primary mentoring, um, which will increase his range and attack speed and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna take this village. We're gonna go as far left bottom corner. So as far as possible over. So right there, and then down. And we're going to find that little perfect spot, and we're going to place it, right? And then we'll come back when we have enough money for our second village. So we're going to grab our next village, and we're going to see those two little leaflets uh, that are touching each other right there. We're going to get them as close as possible together. So right there. And you're going to try to touch those two in the middle, um, kind of together, and that'll get everything in the range because they're buffing each other's range and you'll be able to get extra range out of them. So we're going to place that there and we're going to get the two uh, bottom paths. So monkey business is going to provide a discount. So money's not going to be an issue on all upgrades up to tier three and we're going to get an extra 5%. So we're, if everything's 15% off um, and where that really comes into importance is our middle path for this monkey village. Um, so yeah. Um, when we get the chance, we're going to upgrade our first village.
So now that we have um, our villages set up, we're going to buy the monkey business and monkey commerce for this as well. So we can get the 15% off of this monkey village as well as we start upgrading it. Um, and we're also going to get camo detection. So right now, Ballerina, my tax shooter, um, Gwendolyn, and the Alchemist do not have camo detection. So we're solely relying on our ninja monkey. That's really bad as we go later into the game. So we're going to go middle path on this monkey village and get 2-2. Two, two. So 0-2-2, zero, two, two, right? And this will give um, camo detection to anything in its range, which is um, really invaluable because there will be some hard camo rounds coming up that if you don't have that, you're kind of fucked. All right? So next time we'll see each other's next round. So now we're going to look at our village on the right and we're going to get bigger radius. So it's going to infect a bigger um, area and we're going to get jungle drums. Uh, so it, it makes all the monkeys inside of it attack faster. Um, really important as everything just straight up gets buffed with it. So these are going to be our main like support towers. So yeah, we're going to continue on until we get a... Uh, a 402 uh, village. So we got actually a lot of money from that last round and we're able to upgrade this for uh, our second monkey village to primary training. So if you read it, all primary monkeys in the radius get more range, pierce, and projectile speed. Um, so this is going to get way more range, projectile speed, and pierce. So this thing's going to become a nuke later on. So we're going to grab it and you're going to see that range got upgraded. And then we're going to get, grab primary mentoring. So the range is going to be increased even more. Um, and the rest of the tier or the primary monkeys that we're going to be using, we're going to be using, I'm not going to say a lot, but that's going to be our primary damage. Um, we're going to get the tier one upgrades for free. So we're going to grab that. And now you're going to see his range is starting to expand, right? Um, that's a really big, good, big sign um, because he's hitting a lot more things now. Uh, so we're going to continue on until we get um, our MIB. So now on round 50, or before round 51, we're going to pick up a Monkey Intelligence Bureau. This is basically going to allow every single monkey in our arsenal arsenal to pop every single type of balloon and that's going to be actually really important in late game because there's a thing called ddts ddts are basically leads camos pink balloons and a moa mixed together um so a lot of towers can't actually touch them so this mib allows every single monkey in this radius radius to actually touch that that's really huge so we're going to grab that and then the next round we'll start uh putting more towers down So now we're going to grab a boomerang monkey. So on round 55 is when we're going to get our first really big camo, um, not camo, our big um, ceramic rush. So there's things called ceramic rushes and basically a lot of balloons come in a very short amount of space and it's very hard for our current towers to kill them. So what we're going to do is we're going to get him. We're going to place him in this bottom right corner. So just as close to it as you get. We're going to place him and we're going to go one. So improved rank. So he's going to pop eight more balloons. He's going to throw sharper and faster glaives, and he's going to get glaive ricochet, which is basically going to bounce from each balloon rapidly. And this is what's going to kill those ceramic rushes real quick, because it's going to uh, do damage to every single balloon in it, um, versus these other ones that don't have enough pierce for that. So glaive ricochet, and then we're going to get um, the middle path so he throws faster. All right, and then the next uh, upgrade we're going to get is his uh, fourth upgrade, which increases his ricochet powers. So before 55, we're actually going to get more glaives, and this is going to be right before our first ceramic rush, and you'll see what I mean by ceramic mug rush, just a bunch will be clumped together this round. So yeah, we're going to grab that, and we're good till round 66, so you can just let it auto start up till round 66.
So round 59 is going to be our first camo lead round. And camo leads um, are a big problem, which our ninja monkey can theoretically handle, but there's going to be enough of them where he can't handle it. So this MIB is coming in really clutch for this round. Normally this is a problem round if you haven't prepared for it, but frankly we've prepared for it, so... So now, let's keep going. This is going to be a BFB, by the way, and BFBs are basically a MOAB. It'll pop out four MOABs from it, it's just a higher health bullet. Alright, so round 63 is another sketch-ass um, ceramic rush. But we're going to be able to handle it with the towers we have now, but this is also a really important round to take note of if you're playing this game in chimps mode or just in regular free play mode in general. Um, this is going to be a round that's going to be kind of difficult um, if you don't have towers that can handle grouped balloons. But yeah, let's continue. So now we're going to take note of what all of our towers have done. Our boomerang monkey's gotten about 17,000 pops. Our ninja monkey's gotten 63,000. And Gwendolyn's gotten 20,000. But you can see Ballerina's only gotten 21,000. Um, that'll change real quickly because this is going to become our main DPS. So we're going to actually get the fifth tier version of this called the Tax Zone. Just straight up, you'll see it, it, it's just the zone of tax. Um, super incredible. We're going to click it and you're going to see that the range is going to be increased even more. So this will actually cover the entirety of this track right here where I'm making the circle. Um, and you'll just see it'll, it's our main Moab popping power and basically will carry us through end game. So let's continue on till we get to round 76. So before round 76, we need to go over something. So this is going to be another really condensed uh, ceramic rush. Uh, there's only going to be one of those rushes, but we want to add a little bit more protection against it because he might not even be enough our boomerang thrower to take it out. So let's also check this. He has 60,000 pops now as compared to 20,000 earlier. Um, still not as good as our ninja monkey, but he'll go up rapidly when we get Moabs a lot. But we're going to grab an ice monkey. So... Ice monkeys are usually a terrible idea with like attack shooter and stuff like that. Um, but uh, if we have this MIB, we can actually pop frozen balloons with everything around it. So it's actually gonna be a really solid tower to use in combination with these because it's gonna slow the towers down or slow the balloons down. And that's actually one of the things is as you get into the later waves, you can have all the DPS in the world, but sometimes you. The balloons are just too fast, so this is actually going to be one of those towers that's going to just slow everything down. It's going to make it nice and easy for um, us, and it's going to do a lot of damage. So we're going to grab him, we're going to place him right next to our attack shooter as far over and as far up as possible. And we're going to grab a 0, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is called Icicles, and basically every single time he shoots his little cannon, um, it'll stop the balloon in its tracks, and it'll have Icicles that if another balloon touches it, 
they'll also get icicles and it'll cause a training reaction so you'll see that these ceramic russians are now just a joke basically they're, they're just a fucking joke Round 80 is going to be something called a ZOMG. I just call it Zoh My God because that's what I called it for the entire time. Um, basically, this is going to pop out a bunch of BFBs uh, once we pop it. So four BFBs and then those pop into uh, little Moabs. So yeah, that's a, that's a ZOMG. All right, so now we have $35,000, and that's going to be easily enough for Icicle Impale. So our Cryo Cannon uh, into Icicles only shoots balloons right now. But once we click Icicle Impale, this is actually going to freeze Moab class balloons as well and do a lot of damage to them. So we're actually going to hit that, and we're going to put him on strong. So he's basically going to target our Moab class balloons. And if things touch the Moab class balloons, they're going to get Icicled. And it's just going to cause a chain reaction. So this guy's going to slow everything's in its tracks right in the radius of our tack shooter um, and all of our DPS. So everything's going to get frozen right around here and take a shit ton of damage. Okay, so round 90 is when we get our first DDT. These are really fast moving balloons that are lead, camo, um, and they're basically a Moab class balloon. So they'll zip across the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a glue gunner. He's going to slow down the balloons just a little bit more. He's also going to provide a lot of damage. So if you did everything right, your glue gunner should go on top of your boomerang monkey, and he should have that timed two symbol and be in range of the MIB and uh, range of all the primary expertise and stuff. We're going to place them there. We're gonna get one, two, three, four, all the way up to liquid, uh, balloon liquefier. So as you go up in this upgrade path, it gets exponentially better. So we're gonna have 10 pops a second here, but later on, this is gonna be 100 pops per second uh, for the balloon solver on each balloon. So he's gonna be a fucking champ. So we're also going to get stickier glue and stronger glue, and it's gonna slow down the balloons even more. So you'll see that the DDTs don't make it very far because of this ice monkey and because of this glue gunner. Um, and he's not going to do very many pops until we get him up to that fifth tier. Okay, so going into round 92, we have enough for the balloon solver. And here's the deal about the balloon solver. Not only does it do a lot of damage per second, it hits more balloons. It almost has like built-in glue splatter. So that's why we didn't go middle path because we actually don't need it because it hits so many balloons. So you'll see this thing shreds. See how we had 800 pops over those last rounds, uh, the last two rounds? You, you'll, you'll see it go up real quick right now. So what, what, let's, let's, just, uh, let's just bask in the glory of the, the number count going up. Yeah. 
Yeah, 28,000. He's fucking good. Okay, so now we're at round 95. This is where you get your first reinforced DDTs. Um, they're just a stronger version of a DDT, but we're going to actually find a spike factory and get as close to our um, villages as possible. We're, gonna, we're looking for that times two symbol and we're gonna place it there. If you place everything right, you can play, uh, get both those buffs in here for the spike factory, but we're gonna place it down right here. So on round 98, uh, balloons will get to right here. Um, and this will actually pop things, but that's quite literally the only work it'll do. Um, outside that, you actually don't need anything else. This spike factory is just kind of superfluous. If you want extra popping power, go for it. Place some extra monkeys like right in here. Um, but this guy's going to ensure that nothing slips through on round 98. And that's the only round that anything could possibly slip through. So we're going to get him up to faster production. So double faster production. And we're going to get him up to um, deadly spikes. And I accidentally hit the button. So I forgot to mention, I kind of want you guys to use the targeting option smart for Spike Factory just so it's a little bit farther along um, in the pathway. So buying basically any other upgrades is just overkill at this point, but fuck it, we have a lot of money. So we're gonna grab perma spike. Um, this basically, these spikes will never go away um, and they'll have lead popping power. They'll have um, high damage and you don't really need these. Honestly, they actually don't get hit, um, but you know what? Like we have the money, we might as well spend it. So let's uh, spend that and we're basically gonna win the game. So round 100 is the big bad balloon. So the bad balloon just pops out, I think two ZOMGs, a couple DDTs. Um, it really just releases all the smaller balloons behind it, uh, but it has 28,000 health, so we have to get through that. So you'll see it make it pretty far. Everything's just gonna get stopped right here and die. Um, but this is the final round. Um, yeah, let's, let's check it out. Easy final round. And there we go, we got our Insta Monkey. So we got a 022 Ninja. All right, so let's go actually see, we got 700,000 pops from our tax zone. So he was our main DPS, but we're gonna actually go into free play and we're gonna check out the pop counts and show that none of these towers were useless except for this Spike Factory. Because realistically, he did have a thousand pops, sure, um, but he really didn't do that much. So we're gonna look at our glue gunner. We placed him pretty late, 233,000 pops. And you're like, wow, that's pretty good. And we look at our Boomerang Monkey. He fell off hard in late game, but he carried through our round like i think 50 to around round 80 he was really super good we have gwendolyn about 200,000 pops ninja monkey 270,000 pops alchemist he buffed the shit out of everybody he doesn't really pop much but ballerina 700,000 pops ice monkey 500,000 pops so everything had its job it did its purpose and that's what we like to see in these. I, I don't really want to give you guys useless towers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I tried to make it as easy as possible. I'm going to condense the shit out of this video because it's probably like a 40 minute recording on my end. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys like this kind of content, I stream on Twitch. Um, I play this game sometimes. I've only streamed it a couple times. But if you guys enjoy it, check out my other content. I mean, not good a lot of the time, but I enjoy making it. But yeah, I'm going to be making more types of these guides. So if you enjoy it, leave some likes on the video and comment below. I'm actually going to go through the maps in order. So don't be like, bloody pandas, chimps. I really like it. No, don't do that. We're going to we're gonna go in order, right? Because I'm new to this game and I want to black border all the maps along with you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out.